really bothers me and like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that yeah like there are all these women like throwing themselves but me like the past 10 years like I don't have any of that. Like I have zero, this sounds weird, but like male attention. At a game, she saw Steph. You shouldn't have male attention when you're married to Steph Curry. You should not. That's, do you hear the logic? You should not have male attention when you're in a marriage. That is the whole point. You picked that man. That is the man that you picked. If you don't want to be together with that man, divorce him. If you think it's so difficult, if you think your life is so, so freaking difficult and you're having such horrible days, stop going to the games, ask for a divorce. This is why you should never marry rich. Let's watch. Girls be like, I want to date a rich guy, I want to date a rich guy, I want to date a rich guy. Can you handle what it takes dating a rich guy? A young woman was recently unalived by her wealthy what? boyfriend in Lagos, Nigeria. She was known to live a lavish and extraordinary lifestyle. I've gotten a Louis Vuitton bag, I've gotten a Gucci bag, I've gotten countless amount of perfumes. Five mm. days ago, she was found unalived in a brutal state of missing both her breasts, her vagina, and her eyes inside her boyfriend's apartment in Lagos. I've heard girls from all areas of the world, be it Instagram, be it Twitter, be it even real life, say they want to date someone who has a lot of money. Being mm. a sugar baby is the best job in the world. It's like so easy. You go on a date, you eat good food, and then you get paid. Yeah, but women like it when it's easy. This is documented in history. If it's easy, women will gravitate towards it because no woman really wants to work for it. Yes, there are the selected few which actually do study and do all of that. But even nowadays, I've noticed like if a girl has the opportunity to make money as an OnlyFans girl, she takes that opportunity. Hey, you're like a little princess. That's where I find my happiness. And if you don't like it, I think you should mind your own business. Many hmm. girls seem to be drawn to this lifestyle. The bags, the shoes, the wardrobe, and even the money that they get. I first met my sugar baby at the website called Bruh, they don't they don't even need to be good at speaking. That's oh my god, bro. Notice how her lifestyle just changed suddenly. She started to wear this glamorous attire, she started to have these amazing shows in Instagram profile, and it was all about presents, events. Parties, shopping. The rich sugar daddies have so much money that they never run out, and these girls just accept it. <laughs> this is some of the stuff I've gotten for my sugar daddies. Uh, I've gotten a Louis Vuitton bag, I've gotten a Gucci bag, I've gotten countless amount of perfumes, gift cards, flowers. In exchange for. You do know that a Louis Vuitton bag is just a normal bag, it's made out of the same materials as a normal bag. Like this, it's the same material. I don't understand how people can be so like manipulated by just a brand. I am giving them. <sighs> I have a strict no sex policy. What? I have kissed them, but we've never had sex. I'm not a prostitute. Okay. Those sugar babies from mm -hmm. the past have not yeah. become NBA right. wives where they're going to games, sitting on the bleachers, cheering, with many of them not even knowing a thing about basketball. So I've been struggling with video concepts till the hand of God himself slapped me and I'd realized sugar babies were still a thing. For a while, I'd always think that their life was glamorous just to find out that it actually wasn't. Many regret their relationship as they just get thrown across the room. Others lie on the floor, knocked out cold from the boyfriend some suffer humiliation and others fight just to keep their relationship intact but i wonder why date a rich man right what is the science behind everybody wanting to date and be a rich man isn't this just another form of prostitution and who are some women regretting their decisions to marry these rich men the story of bianca sensori when I wow. first found out about Kanye's new wife, I saw that they got married. Married mm. in a private wedding where no one was invited. When a paparazzi asked Kanye if his wife had free will, he snatched the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. She's TMZ, she's TMZ. How do you feel like it's okay? I'm a human being. 
All of this TMZ, this 30 miles going, y'all set to let me up. All this. I don't give a but if you really think about it if you really look deeper that was a really good question prior to being kanye's new wife bianca must have felt that marrying a rich man would be the end to her problems she must have thought this would be the prince that she had been searching for the prince that would charm her out of her boots but being a material girl being a girl who loves money little did she know it wouldn't end well one day kanye slid up in her dms and his message was come and work for me his message must have sparked thoughts in bro i don't understand like yes kanye is a rich man he went for bianca sensori what's wrong with that when you are rich when you are on top of the mountain you can pick whichever girl you want and if a girl wants to be with you because of the money i don't I don't understand what's the problem. I don't get that. So you have to explain yourself, sir. Bianca's mind. Immediately, pictures of Birkin bags, private jets, okay. red Louboutin shoes must have filled, flashed in her mind. Pictures of Bora Bora, Bali, or even Jamaica must have tickled her tummy. Just within a few days, her flight was booked, her bags were packed, and she hopped on a plane to Mr. Kanye West. Now that she had found that Prince Charming, little did she know that she was about to face the biggest humiliation of her life. Her life is now weird as he tells her to walk outside naked. She gets photographed in weird attires. Anything to keep a billionaire husband, right? But Bianca's family have allegedly caught her. They've caught her and she's been ignoring them. They're begging that their daughter be rescued from the hands of Kanye West. <laughs> they believe she's been brainwashed. That oh she's lost my her god, bro. This is so stupid. Bro, I, I'm sorry, man. You're a content creator and I respect the fact that you actually sat down and made this video. You probably put in a lot of research, but bro, now you're just talking a lot of junk, a lot of bullshit, if I'm being honest, if I'm being frank with you. The reason why is how do you know the relationship that Bianca Sensori and Kanye West has? How do you know that? Maybe Bianca actually wants to be Kanye's muse, the model. Maybe that's what she wants to do. How do you know that? Now it's like there's stories about anybody can go on the internet and write a story. You could you could have been Kanye. And then somebody just makes up something about your girlfriend like yeah she was she was trapped you do not know the dynamic of their relationship you do not know that and bro it's like sometimes i watch videos like this and i'm just like yes i i get it you have to get your views your likes your clicks but come on my guy you don't have that information and any help that she gets from her own family she denies it it's even alleged that Kanye has a set of rules for Bianca. Rules not allowing her to speak. Rules that she must wear whatever he wants. Rules that she must eat certain foods. And rules where she has to work out every day. While Bianca has achieved her goal of marrying someone rich, was it worth it in the end? Was it really worth it, Bianca? Like, was it really- Listen, if Kanye phoned you right now, my guy, and asked to work with you, you'd jump on Kanye's ding dong so fast. Worth it. I don't think so because if Kanye ever breaks up with Bianca, he better wish that he doesn't choke on concrete or even worse, pray that he goes to hell. I hope that you choke on a piece of concrete. I will see you in hell. You you liar. You Manipulator. And while I'm just speculating, while I'm just telling you guys that Bianca did marry for money, this story serves as a cautionary tale. <laughs> a cautionary tale of what happens when someone dates the really rich. But after I found Bianca's story, I couldn't help but wonder about Aisha Curry, who seems to be dealing with the worser thing. The story what? of Aisha Curry. Oh this my is Aisha God. Curry. Being the wife of Stephen Curry, he Jesus. plays for the NBA, shoots the cleanest shots, and seems to be loved by fans. Yes. In his life is Aisha Curry, someone that you can't help but feel bad for. She's someone that has complained about the attention her husband gets. Oh She's my god, bro. This guy, bro. This guy's doing too much. But 
Jesus. Waters flirting with her husband. When they married, it was at a private resort, a resort wedding where guests enjoyed a delicious meal, popped champagne, and had a good time in an island with blue waters. From here, life seemed secured, right? It seemed like there was <laughs> nothing that could come in between them. Being a basketball wife was something new, okay. but Aisha just had no idea what was coming. She had no idea this would be the survival of yeah, the Yeah, she has to wake up every day in a mansion with butlers and servants and drive in her Rolls Royce and have people take care of her 24 7 and drive her to basketball games and she gets to meet the most famous people in the world life must be extremely hard extremely hard do you know how good my life is being just a person which lives in Sweden. I can't imagine if if it was even higher than this. If it was even high, bro. If I tomorrow decide like I'm sick, the government can help me. If I tomorrow decide I want to study, the government can help me. She's rich. If she tomorrow says I want to travel to Bali, she can travel to Bali. I don't think people understand time. Time is so valuable. And to be able to say, I do not want to do that is so valuable. That's why women go for these rich men. You have never heard of Steph Curry abusing Aisha Curry. You have never heard of anything like anything like that. What domestic violence? You've never heard of it. But all of a sudden, she's in this crazy marriage and she, because she was complaining. Do you know what Steph Curry had to do in order to get to where he is? In order just to get a girl like Aisha Curry. We're not talking about Steph. We're not talking about the thousands and thousands of hours which he was just shooting that ball. Shooting that ball. Perfecting his art. Perfecting his talent. We're not talking about that. You... You weren't there in the gym when this guy was putting in the work. That's the, I mean, I could say the exact same thing. Let's say this YouTuber was tuned or whatever his name is, was together with a woman right now. And that woman just walks in. And then I make a video where I'm like, you know, uh, tuned has his wife is going through something. Bruh, tuned could be like, bruh, I've done everything I can for this woman. She's living the best life ever. But then we have people like him alleging that Bianca Sensori is in a prison of a marriage. Steph Curry's wife. Bruh, she's the most ungrateful person in the whole world. It's, it's crazy, bro. But let's continue really bothers me and like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that yeah like there are all these women like throwing themselves but me like the past 10 years like I don't have any of that like I have zero this sounds weird but like male attention at a game she saw Steph you shouldn't have male attention when you're married to Steph Curry you should not that's do you hear the logic? Even the video itself, like, do you hear the logic? You should not have male attention when you're in a marriage. That is the whole point. You picked that man. That is the man that you picked. If you don't want to be together with that man, divorce him. If you think it's so difficult, if you think your life is so, so freaking difficult and you're having such horrible days, Stop going to the games. Ask for a divorce. Ask for it. Hey, I want a divorce. I don't think that... This is not what I signed up for. I, I thought that life was going to be super easy. Turns out it's even easier. Now I can complain about minute details in our relationship. And Curry standing in the frame, standing just doing his thing. But on the bleachers was a white lady who had a thing for Stephen Curry. A thing that made her lick her lips, bite her lips, look at Curry like she's ready to get down and dirty. 
Also in a podcast, Aisha Curry sat next to this woman as she listened to her say this. Her husband isn't flirtatious, yet women still come up and hit on him right in front of her. Aisha, you gonna start this first. <laughs> you post a lot of pictures of that fine husband oh, of yours. Yeah. 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 I think it's disrespectful. I'm just enjoying <laughs> you. And if this wasn't crazy enough, at another game, Aisha Curry was noticing something was off. Noticing that this reporter was a little too close to her husband to where she had to come and say something. And then have bro, Loki, look at her eyes, bro. Bro, this woman has bedroom eyes for Steph Curry, bro. Look at that, bro. Math is hard, science is hard, being a Yusha Curry is also a hard thing. <laughs> to me, it was clear that this was going to start affecting Aisha Curry in ways she wouldn't even imagine. Okay. Aisha has been admitting things. She's yeah, been admitting guy. her zeal to punch women in the face. She wants to punch women who come to her husband women. in her presence. She's admitted that this has honestly given me a little bit of insecurity. That there are all these women throw themselves at Curry while Oh I my god, he read an article and now he's an expert have zero male attention and it's bad it's gotten so bad that i started to feel like something is wrong with me and to help aisha's case she and curry they were dating when they were very young right meaning she never expected it to be like this but aisha when she married curry she didn't realize that she was in a cutthroat economy the cutthroat economy of elite men so just imagine we're all contestants on are you smarter than a fifth grader, right? Just like that competition to win some cash. Can you name a country on this map? Nobody does Africa? Nope. Russia? Nope, that's China. Anything over here? Uh, all right, so basically Europe. China. Where's Europe? Yeah. There's this hidden competition between men to be wealthy and women to date wealthy men. If we consider the top 1% of men and consider how much money they made, this bar stands for that. If we talked about the top 5% of men and consider their income, they make more than $300,000 per year. The top 1% of guys make above $800,000 a year. Damn. While the last up, up, up are these guys. Where Kanye is, where Curry is, and they're <laughs> at the top 0.1% making Jesus. above $3 million a year. And this tax bracket of 0.1, dating for these guys is very much different. Guys compete to be here, while girls compete for them. And yeah. a mystery woman who dated a billionaire, she found out that dating in this 0.1% would make her life very miserable. The story of the model. At first, she worked as a model in Paris. She posed for cameras, stole runway spotlights, and turned heads effortlessly. It wasn't until she began appearing on magazine covers that she came across highly wealthy men that her life would become miserable. One day, she was called by her modeling agency to come to Monte Carlo for a weekend. Okay. Curious about the price, she asked how much she would have to pay just to be told six words. No, no, this one is free. Meaning that someone had already footed the bill. Who might this someone be? When she took the offer, arrived on the trip, limos and party buses lined the streets and they took her to a pirate themed party in a place that overlooked the Mediterranean Sea. The party was lit, alcohol on deck, electro music bumping, and people all scattered on the dance floor. Soon she noticed an older man watching her. He wanted to dance. He didn't look creepy or nothing, he didn't look out of place, but he made his advancements and they began to dance. At first, she had no idea who this man was, but she later found out that this man was a Saudi Arabian businessman named Adnan Khashoggi. Okay. He was an arms dealer, sizing a weaponry, negotiating discreetly, and managing high stakes deals. He owned businesses, estate properties, mansions, planes, and even yachts. If he ever wanted a toy, within the next day, he would have it. As the model dated him, he took her on dates, extravagantly spending on her. He gifted her a 20 carat diamond ring, valued at staggering half a million dollars. Okay. He took her to luxurious trips on set islands. He bought her new clothes, bags, and everything he believed a woman would love. She ate delicious chef prepared foods, and he ushered her around wow. with limos and jets. Slowly, her new lifestyle ate Bruh, away. I can't see the negative part i can't that that sounds amazing at her own character she wasn't a regular person anymore 
she'd gotten accustomed to the dinners, okay. the private parties, the mm-hmm. jets, and the jewelries that when she got back home, the food in her fridge felt greasy <laughs> and it smelled stale. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, well, that's low-key what you should do to a woman, treat her good, and then just let her go. That's it, bruh. That is game, bruh. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Oh, Richard, bruh. That's game. Treat her so good, so good. Let her sleep in. Just treat her really, really good, and then you just let her go. Crave the high life that she once lived. Just about a year into their relationship, she began having anxiety issues. She always chased the next high. She became more like her boyfriend, who was always after something. His next big toy, the next beautiful woman, mm. the next deal, or the next line of Coke soda. She was lost, with a gap in her soul no amount of money could fill. In fact, she found out the $500,000 ring he gave her. She found out he also gave other women. In reality, this model was just one of his toys. In the end, Adnan and the model ended their relationship. She left unfulfilled, empty. She realized dating for money was like chasing your own shadow. After reading that story, I had to shed a little bit of tear. We see these women marrying for money in a relationship. <laughs> what? Just to never what? Okay, was, he did not do anything. He just literally took care of a girl. They went out on crazy dates amazing they traveled the world and then he just kicked her to the curb and got a hotter girl I, I i honestly don't see the problem with that what did he murder her after what what did he do he must have done something crazy to her i, I don't get it like what never be happy so when we see girls on social media saying things like this we need to ask, is this what they want for themselves? What are the odds that they could have a happy relationship or worse, like a relationship like the ones in these stories? And how about if a woman has her own money? Okay, those work? three women which has taken right now, these the three women which he has discussed, that has been garbage. I'm that those three stories have been garbage because all the three women, I don't see anything wrong with that. I would understand if Bianca Sensori was bruised and something happened and like she was maybe running out in the street and it's like, can't you trying to kill me? Like if, they, if we had something. Now it's a man, which is super rich, decided I want to marry this girl and this is the life that we're going to be living. She is Kanye's personal model. So she's wearing Kanye's attire. She's She's... She's being Queen Kanye or Princess Ye. What? Steph Curry's wife? She's living life. She's what? Jealous that other women are interested in Steph Curry. Whoa. Let's hang Steph Curry for that. And then the third girl, she was a model and she dated this billionaire. And he took her out on dates and then he let her go home. Oh my God, that's crazy. Let's not, what? Let's not do that. I got manipulated. He, he manipulate. how did he manipulate you? He, he treated you good. What? I don't understand, but maybe he's gonna tie it into a nice bow. The story of Janet Jackson. For the sister of Michael Jackson, Janet, Janet is said to be worth around $180 million. Okay. However, despite her having her own money, she still found herself stuck under the thumb of her ex-husband, Wissam Almana. Okay. Almana is wealthy, worth around a billion dollars. Okay. Just weeks after welcoming their first child together, her and Janet Jackson split. But at first, they were happy. They dated for three years, got married in a quiet, private, and beautiful ceremony. Mm. They held hands, seemed to love each other, and she became pregnant with his child. However, months after Janet gave birth, she announced her divorce, and many wondered what had happened. It turned out Jaina wasn't really happy. For years, Janet. her ex-husband wanted her to conform to his way of life. Yeah, but it's Janet Jackson. 
you wanted her to wear a hijab, worship at the mosque, and become the typical Muslim housewife. According to few families, Almana insulted Janet daily. Despite Janet, who had her own money, there was still no happiness in her relationship, even though she's made her own money. And he's made 10 times what she has. Almana wants to control Janet. But now that we've covered these, why are women wanting to date rich guys? Science behind the provider man. Okay. Now, I'm sure there are cases where even though the woman is married to a okay, guy. Okay, so the Janet Jackson, he was a mozzy and wanted her to put on the hijab. And she didn't want to do it, so she divorced him. Okay. What a what a demon that has a lot of money it works out and that's good but it's also good to look at these cases where it doesn't work out it's different from the norm it's different from what's portrayed on social media for example this girl dancing is dancing on a table in the house of her set provider man and behind the scenes she could be this happy And others seem to be living the life majestically, you know, luxuriously, posh, and well taken care of. Y'all know I don't tell no stories. So I made some money off my business. So I'm out here in LA, right? So I'm like, let me go treat myself. I go to Louis Vuitton. So I met this random man. He was like, get whatever you want. So you know how men just be lying. But I, of course, I had my own money. I had a purse full of money. So, make a long story short, I got whatever I wanted, y'all. And I didn't even get his name or number. Like, how do I let what? a trick like that bypass me? But any trick me if he got it, I ended up spending like nine thousand dollars. And I didn't get his number. Like, I'm so sad. If you see this TikTok, please, please, please give me a call. So I ended up leaving them. Um, I went to the nail shop. Y'all tell me why this nail shop fucked my toes up, but they did my nails really good. So I left the nail shop heated, but. Everything make up for itself. I was on a PJ in Popeyes. Headed to Atlanta. Goodbye. Once again, it can be like this behind the scenes, right? But then again, never believes social media, right? Back in 2005, there was a study that put people's preference against each other to see which mattered the most. Two preferences, love and wealth, ended up on opposing sides. According to the study, men preferred to have a loving partner, while women wanted someone wealthy. At the same time, men wanted a woman with good looks, whereas women wanted a man who was stable income-wise. The psychologist believes this is down to our basic instincts. They say that women tend to like men who can take care of them and their families, while men are attracted to women who seem young, pretty, and healthy. This way of thinking goes back to ancient time when it helped our ancestors thrive. Women dated the strongest, fittest guy, and those preferences got passed down through generations. And now, because we don't really hunt no more, it's all about money. A lot of women date up. Back then, this would be the guy that was the strongest. Now, it would be the guy with the most money. But in what way do women try to attract rich guys, and how can this get toxic? The consequences. The answer to that question is beauty. Let's say there's a woman named Nikki who wants to attract the high tier provider man. Nikki you know what I think is very interesting about this video? And this is just a little bit criticism to you, my friend, because fellow YouTuber, you're putting in the work. I really respect you putting in the grind and posting the video, right? Uh, my criticism to you is this, right? I love the way that you have structured this video is really, really good. Like if we look at the beginning, it has a great beginning and all of that, right? It, I kind of got pulled out a little bit when it came to the stories because I thought that it, the, the people which you're going to reference were people which actually went through something, the women maybe, something happened to the women. Uh, it would have been more interesting if you picked, a, let's say, a woman like Tina Turner and you had her as an example. Um, you could have had, what, uh, Sensori and Kanye West in the beginning, and then in the middle you have Tina Turner, because Tina Turner actually went through something with Ike Turner, I think his name is, and you could have maybe taken a Chris Brown, maybe Rihanna relationship, like you have those three 
three differences or maybe you have like yeah you have Kanye West Sensori you have Tina Turner Ike Turner and then you could maybe have a totally different relationship where you switch the roles right where the woman is actually the the provider and the one which is abusing the man uh, to show that women can also do it like I get what you were thinking I understand what you were trying to build but it just fell on its face because it's like now when I watch the video I'm like what was this for like you you are very good you are very good and I've seen some of your documentaries like or documentaries these videos which you post I think that they're very interesting and you should continue don't let this video be one of those videos where you watch it and then you're like oh I want to stop making YouTube I don't even think that criticism from me would make you stop but brother this there's no substance. Of her way through surgery to make her body prettier and her body fuller just to attract that man. What Nikki is doing is what we've seen women all over social media do. At a point in time, several women were going viral because of how many of them were getting a BBL. Yeah. BBLs are what's called Brazilian butt lifts, which is a beauty surgery that makes the body fuller. We saw women who sat in wheelchairs after the surgery was done in mm. the Dominican Republic all lined up perfectly one after the other, about to be wheeled into a plane. Others wouldn't be able to sit properly as they were seen kneeling on chairs for an uncomfortable 12-hour flight back home. So I got on my flight today and everyone seated around me just had surgery. They didn't know each other. Remember ladies if you're getting a BBL don't forget about the flight home. Even at home some women were helped because they Whoa. couldn't sit or stand for Whoa. several minutes. Whoa. Others were botched and left paralyzed forever in wheelchairs. Look at that, bro. says that a Dallas plastic surgeon basically botched her plastic surgery, leaving her in a wheelchair. And now the Oklahoma nurse is seeking millions of dollars in damages after she says her life was changed forever. And I didn't do this to be a video vixen or anything like that. I just went in for something, just a slight enhancement. Bruh, why did you even do it? Why? Isn't what God gave you enough? People are trying to play God nowadays. That's what they're trying to... Oh, let's put a chip in your head, bro. That, come on. How do you think that that's going to end? Then there's reality shows like NBA Wives, where Nikki can live through vicariously through the lives of these basketball wives through a reality show and hopes that she might become someday a basketball wife. These girls pop off so quick, I didn't even get to eat. You don't know me well enough to call me a bitch. I am a mother. I am a friend. And I've been. Well, look at that. It's, and it's in this video, right? Where he is showing, he's actually showing women. Women being abusive. Women being abusive. Like there is not even a trace of Kanye doing that to his wife. Like uh, Steph Curry doing that to his wife. But you can see the women in this video. In this video right now. Being a violent. That's what I'm saying. Like I get it. I understand your video. Very interesting and all of that. But bruh. Put it up here, my guy, because there's certain things which are happening and you're just sleeping on them and you just put them in just to put them in and just let, let me have a discussion about. Yes, I get it. Great, great video. But if I'm being honest, Loki, this one was a little trash. It was a lot of in life just to let some little girl walk up in my face and call me a bitch. No. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, you just put what a lot of shit on the wall and then you. Or hoping for something to stick it doesn't work like that get some help in conclusion i urge women to love yourself and money won't buy love consider someone's character rather than the size of their wallet i think that's how dating should be 
and look past the allure of fame, money, status, and go for love, respect, acceptance, and character. Which if you look at research, you see time and time again that good- Yeah, but what are you saying to the men then? Relationships lead to better, longer lives. People in healthy relationships tend to live longer, and this is facts. They handle stress better, they adopt healthier habits, and maintain a more positive outlook on life. Um, okay, I'll do it. Can't stand another. Okay, let's pause it over and I needed you to there. Let's pause it over there. Uh, yeah, no message to the men. Disappointing. 